Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why would they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. And here is the national anthem of Ukraine. That was impressive. Match that. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Gareth Bale. If he sees some space to run into with the ball at his feet, then you know he's probably likely to cause some chaos. He's fast, he's powerful, he's very direct, and he certainly knows where the goal is too. I think he's going to be a massive presence in their forward line, and opposition defences better beware. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. And we're underway. Bale just brushed off the ball there. A real chance to break. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. Pity that, because it had a decent chance of progressing. Ampadu plays it towards the front. Stepanenko. Zinchenko. Davis is there, and he can get that clear. Kalikov. Hits one! Wilson could move up a gear here. Wales have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Bell. Now it's Bell. Bale gets it out to the wing, a chance to play it in, it's a loose ball, trying to get there, Saigankov, Stepanenko tries to get it forward quickly, he gets past his man, Yarmolenko, he's onside, the defence got the better of him this time but I'm sure he'll go again, Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Plays it out to the flank. Played out to the right. Played in by Yarmolenko. Williams plays it forward. Simchenko. Cut out in the nick of time. Hennessy can hoist it clear. 
Now it's Yarmolenko. He's gone for it! I think that's a corner. Yes, it is. He was so alert to the possibilities there, great stuff. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Ukraine get themselves into the lead. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. And here's Bale. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Yarmolenko, decent looking ball. Oh, that's a foul and the whistle's gone. Well, that looks like a final warning, still no card. This is the perfect opportunity to create a cushion between the sides. He'll fancy himself from here. He's having a go. Decent hit from there. And it's Wilson over to the left. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. And here's Bale. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Just poorly executed. Allen. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. And we hit half time. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first-half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Ukraine going to have the lead in a tight old game. Half-time, 1-0. So we're just settling back into this second half. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. And back to base. To throw in. Zinchenko. Yarmolenko floats one over. And that has been clubbed away.
James. James needed to come up with a better ball. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority. Goes for goal! And in it goes! And there's the goal they've been looking for. And that really is so, so impressive. Ukraine take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Surely a shot! James. Towering header! They scored! Right back in the game! Lovely header, but really it was all about the delivery. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. <laughs> we have got ourselves a game here. Well, scoring early in this half just takes the pressure off now and allows them a chance to be a bit more patient when trying to level things up. It's a brilliant interception. Wales are definitely going about this the right way. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. It just has to be done. Ramsey Ampadu drives it forward out to the left it goes played back in we can get that clear and it's been taken straight back Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. And it's Bale. Gets it back. Wales are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Here's Wilson, Sinchenko battles to win it back. Wilson, it's one! Looking for a decent ball in. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Wales are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Good running with the ball, can they build on it? Stepanenko. Has a look and has a go. Gave it a go, but off target. I think this is going to add an entirely different dimension to their attack now. They've got the physical presence, they've got a real aerial threat, and uh, it looks more promising from here. Oh, 
Hoists it forward. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. To stop its time, whistle due any moment. Stepanenko. And it's played forward. And the counter is on. More. And the referee brings it to a close. Well, whatever the shortcomings on either side, it was a great game to watch. Just one between them. Your reflections then, Jim. Ukraine just seemed to be one of those sides that thrives on adversity. The tougher it gets, the, the more they come true. All that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight.